Redeemer living, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth, and I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall see, behold, and not another. Job 19, 25, and 27. New Testament, St. John 11, 25, and 26, and it reads as follows. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. John 11, 25, and 26. 
And all of this is in God's hand. Yes, it is. It's in his hand. Yes, Just turn everything that you're feeling over to God. Yes, yes. And he will take care of you. Yes. Yes. looking down low. Oh, yes, yes. Nicole, he sees every tear you shed. Yes, so baby, it's all right. It's all right. I stopped by to tell you it's all right. Right now we'll have a prayer by Allison Brown. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes, we bless the name of the Lord on today. Truly, this is a time. This is a rough time. This is a hard time. But God, he is good. He's oh, faithful. Yes, he and he's is. just. And as we go to the throne room of heaven today, we ask him, God, that his Holy Spirit will be with us, that will be with my aunt, Nicole. Yes, this is kind of hard, but I know who God is, y'all. Yes. So we bow down heads. That's a symbol or a sign of humbleness to God because we don't know what else to do. We don't know what to say. We don't know, even know what to think at times like this. So as we bow our head, Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to pray through me because we don't know what we ought to pray through, to pray for. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we tell you thank you today. We still gonna give you glory and we give you praise. Lord, you're the greatest thing, Lord God, and the greatest story that has ever been told. And Lord God, as we lean on you today, our families, Lord God, my aunt Nicole, Lord God, and even the children's mother, Lord. God, we're calling on your holy name. We're calling on the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, as we call upon you, we ask you to break peace and see the rest, God. Give us strength, Lord God, in the name of the Lord. God, we ask you, even in these times of uncertainties, Lord, when we don't know what to do, when anger has come, when fear has come to our mind, you told us to fear not. For the Lord God, you are with us. And even as I pray for this service that shall go on in all of those that are under the sound of my voice, God, I'm asking for you to touch every heart that is under these tents and standing out. Lord God, even in the cars, God, show them who you are. Somebody here don't know you as God. Somebody here don't know you as Lord. But God, by the time this day is over with, God, I'm asking you to bring a refreshing, a renewing reconnection God, in the name, 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 in the name of the Lord. God, I plead your blood over every devil, over every hindrance, over every spirit of anger that would come, Lord God, to call this call in the name of Jesus. Father, I tell you, thank you. Oh God, I thank you for the rest. I thank you for the peace. I thank you for the mind to serve you. In the name of Oh, even right now, touch Aunt Nikki from the top of her head down to the soles of her feet. God, she belongs to you and not to another. Oh, God, even in the days to come, God, I say rest on her. Lord, God, let your peace descend upon her. You said peace you have already given to us. You left it here with us. God, even the children, as they go through years, God, and even days, thinking about their dad and their loved one. God, give them good dreams, give them good vision, good memories. about because she didn't do it a certain way like some other preacher did 
But let me tell you this. I'm not like another preacher. I'm like the preacher that God made here. We come today to come a home going service. My brother Fred. And we're going to lift up Jesus. We're going to lift up Jesus. I say we're going to lift up Jesus. Because he's worthy to be praised. Now right now. Be obedient if you can to two minutes. Uh, Yasmin, am I saying that right? Yasmin Goodson? And we'll follow the other names uh, as on the phone. so much down, but I know what I got to say. Okay. Fred, that was my partner in crime. I sent it. Fred Kadidi said, yes, I'm going to get Fred Cooper. I said, girl, Fred is not something you ever know Fred is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Six years later, I got a phone call. She said, yes, I got who I want, but we having a baby. I said, girl, who you having a baby for? <laughs> Fred or Cooper. I heard the phone drop. Fred gets on the phone. He said, yes, as long as I got to stretch my eyes, my name is Fred Cooper. <laughs> so I said, okay. But did y'all tell my mama? Did you tell your mama? He said, yeah, but we don't know how we're going to tell your mama. <laughs> but Fred, I love you. I wish you was here for our king. You told me Tuesday. When, I, when you get up from that table, sis, I'm going to be there. I didn't know you was going to be resting forever, but we love you. And me, Lolo, got you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Roger, if I'm saying it right, you're behind me. Come on, please pronounce your name, please forgive me. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. I just want to share a memory that when I was growing up, Marvin, I probably never remember this right here. Growing up, you know, back in the days, the kids used to get their head about skint ball. And you know, there, there, there was a thing called Mac and Smack that, that, that Fred, Fred and Marvin used to do to me all the time. They'd come by and wait till my head clean them balls and come and smack my head. <laughs> <laughs> and I had said, 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 said Lord, when I, I get, 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 get on bigger, I dare him to smack me, man. But I just came just to say this right here. This right here is a time that nobody can really prepare for. This, 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 this right here is something that no man knows when it, it, it is going to come. That's right. But I reminded of something that my aunt Nicole, you 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 used to do all the time. She she she, she probably still do it. Now she used to go in the bathroom and, and, and shut the door for about 25 minutes or more and sit there and read the word. Yes, uh -huh. Now Nicole, I'm saying this right here. This right here's a time that people can't fix. This right here's a time that. I love you can't can't fit. This is yes. the time that hugs can't fit. This right here's a time that you got to know where your strength comes yes. from. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Your strength right. comes right. from the right. word of God right. because right. the word of God declares that weeping may endure for a night. Yeah. Okay, so friend. Yeah. Shall come in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. That the joy of the Lord yeah. is your strength. Yeah. So in the time of sadness, in the time of hurt, in the time of now um, confusion, this right here's a time that all in 25 minutes. All the years of reading in the Bible in the bathroom. Mm. This right here is the time that God was not preparing you for. Come on, so stay come on. strong on the on. word. Yeah. To now my auntie Cole and to my cousin Dedrick oh, and Fred Fred to the boy. This right here is the time to now stand strong and know where your strength comes from. Yeah. And that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.
But right now, the word of God tells us what is our life that we are mindful of. That's right. And I, the Bible says our life is as a vapor. Yeah. If I may leave a picture with you today, when you take a part of the hot stove, you see the steam coming up and it vanished. That's how quick our life is. But today, I'm asking you to think about what li what is your life today? We can't do nothing but pray. But I'm here to tell you, as the Lord let me know today, it's time to draw near into the Lord. I'm telling you, in the time, it's time to cry out unto God. That we may be broken hearted today. It may be a tragedy. But there's nothing that Do something different, but I do want to say to Fred, why he leaving? Fred, when you get to heaven, for all of us out here, please give our granddaddy D, our grandma Nona, my sister Rhonda, my nephew Tay, and Trey. Give them all a big hug and tell them all we miss them. And they're going to take care of you. And we're going to help out with taking care of your kids. Don't you worry because you were raised by the best. And I'm telling you, I want my family just for me. Please, man, get out the street. I never would have made it. You don't have to be in the street for the devil to come get you. You can be home in your bed or well. But we got to stand guard. There's too many of us to let them win. I love each and every one of y'all. For all my first cousins, I love y'all. For all my second cousins, I love y'all too. I got love for everybody. Whether you're my cousin or not, but that friend, friend, that was the baby of all my little cousins that came up in the house of Deke Holly, along with little Flip, everybody know him, man. But God bless each and every one of y'all. I know what a man is. 
of Nicole Holly on the flesh side, but on the spiritual side. He was the baby boy of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Somebody might say, well, what you talking about? Where you going with that? How in the world can you compare Frederick to Jesus Christ? Uh, if you got your Bibles, uh, uh, if you want to write this down, do this. But I advise you to read Luke 23 at your leisure. I advise you to read that because the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, he promised us that this day will come to each and every one of us. It's once upon it to every man, woman, boy, and girl. Yes. That sure as you born, huh? surely you're going to leave here. Yeah. Huh? Oh, we're here today huh? to give honor to Frederick. Huh? But what about us? Uh -huh. We got to prepare huh? to go down the same road. Uh -huh. Somebody else huh? is going to be in that casting. Huh? Somebody else going to be sitting in that seat. Huh? Yeah, but I stop by to tell you. Huh? What? Huh? I say what? Yeah. While it's, it's day. Because huh? the Lord is coming back. Yeah. Huh? So what belongs to him? Huh? Let me go into my son. Let me go into this. Luke, the 23rd chapter. And my favorite verse the Lord spoke was verse 43. The reason I compared Fred to Jesus along with the Lord's okay was because Jesus lived 33 years here on earth. They tell me Fred lived for 27, but you still don't see that shit. Well, you know, on December the 12th, 11, 2011, Fred joined Amen Hallelujah Church. Yes. On October the 10th of um. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, no, let me go back. On October the 12th of 08, Fred joined Amen Hallelujah Church. Amen. On 12, 11, 11, he gave his life to the Lord. See, so Fred was saved. I don't care yeah. what Fred did yeah. in this world, yeah. Fred yeah. was saved. Because yeah. the Bible yeah. says yeah. wow. if we sin, we can call on him. While the blood is still running yes. warm in our veins, yes. and he will he hear will. us. Yes. He will come see yes. about us. Let me help you understand some more. Jesus and Fred both gave their life. Yes. Go oh ahead. my God. Go ahead. Go ahead. You see, I can't say what Fred's last words were, and neither can you, because I wasn't there, and you weren't either. I can't say what his last thoughts were. Because I don't know his thoughts, but Jesus did. It makes no difference how Fred lived down here. Fred's gone now. He can't do nothing else about that. But I believe with all the blood running warm in my veins that he'll make it into heaven. Because he asked Jesus to come into his life one day. To him, he was still saved, so he didn't tell me nothing else. So I'm going on what he said last. So you see, the last will be first, and the first will be last. Fred's last words could have been, Well, Lord, you know, I'm down here in Dillon, South Carolina. And well, Lord, you know I've done some things that just won't right. But well, Lord, I just ask you, because you are forgiving God. Amen. That if you forgive me of all I've done, would you just hold me? Everything will be all right. Well, I see some looking at me like I'm crazy. They say that bald head preacher don't know what you're talking about. But you know what? I know Jesus. And I know what he said. He said, if you call on me, I don't care where you are. If you call on Jesus. I could 
Buster. But it's all right, I'm not a nosy preacher. Not even trying to figure out what happened. Because that's between him and God. Yeah. You know, he's the judge. He, he's the Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and the end. You see, I don't know. Speak low. What, 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 what it's all about. Or what it was all about. But I remember Fred as a young man growing up. And as his pastor, I told him. That the wages of sin was death. Yeah. But the gift of God is eternal life. Now somebody saying, Fred, that preacher saying, Fred was a sinner. No, I ain't saying that. But the word of God said we all have sinned. Yeah. They come short of the glory of God. Somebody saying, she's saying that's why he's dead. Because he was a sinner. But I'm not saying that. Fred's just asleep. Fred is just asleep. Jesus. And you see, you think Fred lived a life down here. But I stopped by to tell you, he's getting ready to live the best life. Sometimes, God's got to move us from where we are so he can use us where he wants us to be. Sometimes, we got to leave those people that love us and we love them. Because I stopped by to tell you that God's love, God's love is better than any love you can ever have. You see, this pandemic that we're in now has caused everything to be not normal. Everything's out of whack. Amen. And I don't care how long it lasts. Amen. If it's in tomorrow, it'll never be normal that you knew normal before. Amen. It'll never be normal like that. There's nothing that's going to ever be normal again but Jesus. Jesus says, because I am today the same today, tomorrow, and forevermore. hanging on their cross. Yes, that's right. And Jesus was in the midst, in the middle. You know there's a song called In the Middle of it. I wonder why he was hanged in the middle and not on the end. You see, Jesus knew that somebody was going to come along even on their cross and need him. Oh my God. Somebody, one of them things had heard about what Jesus went through. Might have even seen some of the stuff that Jesus went through. Because they whooped him all night long. They spit on him. Called him everything but a child of God. But when he come down to the time of when they hung him on the cross, they put him in the middle. I wish, Jesus, I could move out, but because I came and where I am, I'll be obedient to stand here. Jesus was in the middle of it because somebody, even in their last moment of life, was going to need him. Jesus, the thief said, Father, Oh, Father, Father, would you forgive me, forgive me Lord. for what I've done? Yes. Yes. Father, Father, it looks like I ain't going to make it because I'm hanging on the cross right now. Yes. 
I can't go out and change nothing. But he looked at Jesus. He said, Father, would you forgive me for what I do? And for his last word, I wasn't there. But I can hear him say, he that got an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. I heard him say, Jesus, oh Jesus. Sometimes you walking through your house. Just look at that picture. Well, it's a picture like this. Yeah. It's stretched out. It's all stretched out. Yeah. But here's the other thing that a lot of people miss, but you won't. There's a table there. Yes. 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 All souls yeah. go back to who said that. Yes. King Fred. King Fred. Listen to what I say. Revelation say we're kings and priests yes. unto God. I got to give him his glory, his honor. Yes. King Frey is sitting around that table. Glory, glory. There's a seat there. Yes. When God get finished with you, yes. you'll be able to sit down. Look at Brother Frey. We're kings and priests unto God. Yes. Let me read. Let me read the committal of comfort, words of spirit and life. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Go ahead. Huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wonder why he did that. Mm. God is putting some stuff in some hearts and minds yeah. right now yeah. as we speak. Yeah. He's changing some things. Yes, sir. Right now, Come on, right now, as we speak, yes, yes, somebody, yes. somebody is getting saved yes, right, yes, now. Yes, right now yes, because yes. I'm going to finish the walk. Yes. Fred was trying to walk it, but I'm going to finish it for him. Yeah, God's going to use you. I'm looking at you. Hallelujah. God's going to use you. An error. Let me go to the community. 1 Corinthians 15, 42, 43. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. 
It is raised in incorruption. Bang on what you doing jumping like you scared. Hey, hey. Forget about that. Don't be doing that. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. Talking to the powerful fathers now. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 15, 51 and 52. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery which shall not, which shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment. Do it right now, God. Do it, God. Hallelujah. Do it, God. He looked up to heaven, two fish and five loaves, and said, a multitude. He can do it. In a moment. And in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound. And the dead in Christ shall be raised. Incorruptible. And we shall be changed. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God to take out of this world the soul of our deceased King, we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 18 say, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. And with the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of God. I wish there was a trumpet over there in the, in the woods that just started blowing. Oh my God. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up. Boom. 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 Be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Let us pray. O oh Lord God of life and death. This day of brought grief and disappointment. Lord, you told us the familiar word that weeping may endure for a night, but joy, but joy cometh in the morning.